Hey everyone, I don't know if you can really see me or anything. Um, let me move my dog a little bit uh, here. But, you know, I'm here to do this video because, you know, it's just something I wanted to talk about. Um, I know, well, the thing I want to talk about basically is, and you can probably see it up there, is. You know, I, I can probably understand that I'm not the only one who has a subscription to a comic book. And it doesn't matter what comic book it is or what magazine it is. And I've I touched on this before in another video. But I didn't really go into detail. Um, but basically, to me, I think, what the, I think what the comic publishers have to do you know, Marvel, DC, Image, and even Archie Comics, uh, what they need to do is they need to really fix up the schedules. They need to really schedule ahead of things. I mean, they do, I mean, they do schedule ahead in, um, in releasing their issues, but they need to do a better job at it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wh what I'm saying is that recently we celebrated Thanksgiving. And also earlier last month we had, in about a month before, we had all these advertisements and everything for the election that happened on the 2nd of last month. So, my, 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 th my thoughts about this are when you know you're going to have something like the elections coming up, like election day coming up, and you know you're going to have a holiday like Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and, and, and so on and so forth. That you need to schedule it that when, basically when you know those holidays or those days like Election Day and those holidays like Veterans Day and like I said and Christmas and Thanksgiving and Pearl Harbor and New Year's, when you know they're going to fall on weekdays, quite honestly, if I was the comic publishers or the comic industry, the comic book industry, what I would do, honestly, is I would keep the schedule that I have like for the beginning of the year into maybe summer. But as soon as summer comes around, I start scheduling a little differently. Like if I know the 4th of July, because the 4th of July is in July, if I know that day is going to fall on a weekday, what I need, on a, not just a weekday, but on a day that mail gets delivered, what I need to tell myself is, okay, we need to schedule this before, before or after. I mean, comic books, if you look at the fine print, they say it takes four to six weeks. If I'm them, I'll put something there in there, because they've done this before when they do like two issues a month. I put like, exception being July I through December. Or at least July, put like, exception being holidays. And what I would mean by exception being holidays is to let them know it might take a little longer. Now, what, the reason I'm saying this is because, as you probably know, if you go to some of the forums on like Sega.com, you go to YouTube, uh, you go to the Mobius uh, forums, you go to Sonic Stadium, um, you, you will notice that not many people are talking about issue 219 yet. Uh, the reason is because most of the people that talk about it are like me, they, the subscribers. So, so for them not to talk about it means they haven't gotten it yet. Now I read when it's supposed to come out on newsstands. It's supposed to come on newsstands the 7th. It's already in comic shops. It's already been shipped. So the question is why isn't it here yet? Again, like I said, it's, it, it's, it's the holiday deal. The holidays are basically the, the ones that interfere in it. They back the mail up. Now, I, like I said, I mentioned this in another video. You know, what if you're expecting important mail and all that? You know, you, and you're not getting it because you're getting all these advertisements. In fact, you could, for the elections, and, that, and that's where you can find it at. 
when I talk, it's called what's bullshit, and I and I and I talk about the the election ads and all that. But anyway, but anyway, it's not just the election; it's the holidays. You know, like I said, if I'm the comic book industry, if I'm part of the comic book industry, if I'm in charge of the comic book publishing at Marvel and DC and Image and Archie, what I do is, or any independent comic book publication, what I do is I plan ahead. I go as I go as scheduled like the first half of the year because. Besides Easter, which falls on a Sunday, there's not many major holidays, right? So, besides Easter and Valentine's Day, that is. And Martha Luther King Day and President's Day. Okay, just a few of those, but not as many. But they're not as significant. You know, not, well, they're not, I mean, they are significant, but you get what I'm saying. The only days being President's Day and George Washington's birthday and David Lincoln and, and Martha Luther King are the only days that no mail is delivered from what I understand from what I know so besides those days which are always like on a Monday um, well overall let's just say holidays and national observance days you know what like I said the first half of the year is not too bad because most of those are like say fall on Monday so that's no big deal but every other day like Thanksgiving falling on a Thursday and Christmas falling on like well this year will be a Thursday as well or will it be Friday I don't know uh, let's see yeah I mean you know it's gonna be Saturday it's gonna be Saturday actually it's gonna fall on it's gonna be on a Saturday but anyway what I'm saying those those holidays in the beginning of the year those observance days and holidays the exceptions because they fall on a Monday the other ones like Thanksgiving and Christmas are always the ones that throw you off. So again, like I said, if I'm the people in charge of the public comic publications at my comic company, at my company like Marvel or or Archie or DC or Image or any independent promotion or publication, what I would do is I would plan ahead. I would keep my first half of the year as scheduled, but then when I get into like the later half of the summer knowing that the 4th of July could fall on any day depending on the year I plan ahead if the 4th of July falls like on a Sunday no problem it falls on a Monday no problem but later on that year like with Thanksgiving and Christmas and even the election day what I need to do at the, the start of the later half of the summer going into fall I need to start planning ahead. When I, basically, like I said, look at the schedule. Keep your upper half the way you want. Keep your first half the way scheduled the way you want. But then when you look at the bottom half, you got if I'm like I said, if I'm in charge, if I was in charge, I would look at when the holidays are going to fall, and then I would say, okay, instead of saying we're going to ship it out this day and ship it to the and say and basically saying. Instead, of, well, basically, excuse me. Ah, oh, that's better. But basically, saying, but by well, you get what I'm saying. That by looking at when like Thanksgiving and Christmas fall, with the days that Thanksgiving and Christmas fall on, and even New Year's, I say to myself, okay, we can't ship it out as the way we, at the time we want to, so we're gonna have to move it back or move it forward. Okay. That's what I would do. I'd either move back the scheduling, say, okay, instead of shipping it out like this month, 219 of Sonic the Hitchhiker was supposed to be on, the, was shipped out the 17th, move it back to the 10th, or move it forward to the 24th, ship it out basically to the 24th or the 26th. Then, then, when and then it says a week later it shows up in comic stores, right? Comic shops. Well, move that forward or back. So if it, if I move forward, I say okay, I'm going to mail, I'm going to ship them out the 24th or the 26th. Then you ship, then the comic shop should get them maybe the a week later, right? Either move forward or backwards to make it work so that nobody misses an issue, so that everybody gets their issue on time. They don't miss an issue. They don't miss an issue or anything. So 
I mean, that, that, that's what I would do. If I was in charge, I could say, of, the, uh, of a comic book company like Archie or, or Marvel or DC or Image or any independent uh, publication, I would look at the later half of the year with the major holidays like Thanksgiving, like Christmas, and even Election Day, and even Labor Day, believe it or not, can affect. Uh, when ha well, Labor Day probably not as bad, but like when you get to Election Day and everything, get close to Election Day and everything, what I do is I work it around that. Like with Election Day, I say, okay, we got to figure out when, how much mail is going to be sent out to advertise who to elect for, right? So if I was in charge, I'd say, okay, let's work it out to where it's like, again, we, we move forward or, or backwards with the scheduled release date. Get what I'm saying? Well, hopefully you do. I mean, I, I do. I know I sound like I'm rambling and not making any sense here, but you get, you understand what I'm saying. With holidays like Christmas and Thanksgiving and day and New Year's and important days like Election Day and all that, if I was in charge of a comic book com company like Marvel, Archie, or DC or anything independent. I would look at my later half of the schedule involving those days, involving those holidays, involving that important day like Election Day, and say to myself, okay, what can we do so that nobody complains about having the issue coming late if they're a subscriber, or complain to a comic book shop wondering where that issue is. What I do is I move forward, move the date forward, the shipping day, and the arrival of comic shops and newsstands dates forward or I move them backwards so that I can adjust and work around the holidays like Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's as well as work around thing, you know, important dates like Election Day. So hopefully I made some sense. I'm sorry if I rambled on. You know, I'm still a little tired, you know, um, still trying to wake up a bit, but hopefully I made some sense and if I didn't, let me know and uh, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good day and may God bless you all.